In 2018, a Chinese scientist just announced the results of his successful eight-photon entanglement experiment, and the scientific community was instantly boiling as if bombed by an atomic bomb. This is because this problem has plagued the quantum field for many years, and there has been no solution, but Liu Chaoyang completed such a difficult breakthrough in just three years. In fact, this is the fourth time that he has broken the world record. Not only that, but also a series of records on the multiphoton entanglement problem that has disturbed experts before are all solved by Liu. For such a talent, the United Kingdom promised an annual salary of 1 million euros. Hi, everyone. Welcome to TechTeller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. So, what choice did Lou make in the face of the irresistible temptation? And what role does his eight-photon entanglement breakthrough play in Chinese quantum field? Lu was born in a rural family in China in 1982. Although he is very smart, perhaps because of poverty, he lacked self-confidence in his childhood. Compared with children of his age, Lu seems a little reclusive. He often sits alone by the pond, studies the crops in the field, or catches some small fish and shrimp. However, in the process of dealing with animals in the fields, he gradually focused his attention on the laws of nature, and over time, he accumulated a lot of doubts for the world. Interestingly, compared to his status as a physicist in the future, the subject that Lu was most proud of was mathematics. In fact, his original intention was to enter the field of mathematics. However, a report meeting in 1999 completely changed the direction of Lu's life. At that time, the school Lu attended invited Pan Jianwei, an outstanding graduate, to return to give a report. Pan Jianwei was an internationally renowned physicist, and his research field was quantum physics, which was very trending at that time. For a brief introduction, traditional physics mostly focus on natural phenomena such as sound, light and heat, while quantum physics focuses more on the basic particles that make up all things. In this report, Pan Jianwei brought all the students into the colorful micro-level, and among them, Lu was undoubtedly the most excited, because he never thought that physics would be so colorful. In this way, he decided to make quantum physics a lifelong goal. In the college entrance examination in 2000, he directly entered the School of Physics of the University of Science and Technology of China with excellent results. Because he has dealt with the natural world too much since he was a child, he has cultivated a strong hands-on ability. Therefore, during the university period, Lu's experimental level was greatly different from that of other students. Relying on this ability, before graduating from university in 2004, Lu was admitted to Hefe Microscale Quantum Research Department to study for a master's degree. When he got this news, he almost jumped up with joy. On the one hand, the laboratory was the most advanced physics laboratory in China at that time, on the other hand, the mentor who was about to lead him was Pan Jianwei, who introduced him to the gate of quantum science. But he never thought that when he saw his mentor, a basin of cold water poured down from his head. It turned out that the first task Pan Jianwei gave his disciples was to find the ability to manipulate the entanglement of four photons on the optical platform. To put it simply, photons can be understood as carriers of energy transmission in nature, which represents visible light, and of course the electromagnetic waves used in mobile phone communication. At the microscopic level, photons are like messengers, allowing information to exchange between substances. In the observation of the quantum field for many years, it has been found that as long as there is a connection between two elementary particles, the photons emitted by them will be entangled. In this, photons have a fundamental property, rotation, the direction is either left or right, and the essence of entanglement is that if one knows the rotation of one photon is to the left, no matter where the other photon is, one can infer its direction of rotation must be to the right. In other words, the propagation speed of this entanglement between photons is instantaneous, and because of this, this phenomenon can realize superluminal communication and quantum computing. 
However, due to technical means, it is difficult for modern technology to accurately observe the rotation direction of one of a pair of photons, which also means that it is impossible to manipulate photons. It is precisely because of this that at the beginning of the birth of quantum mechanics, even the physics giant Einstein bluntly said that it was impossible for humans to cross this gap. However, in 2006, Lu not only successfully captured four photons remaining in entanglement, but also developed a set of judgment tools with a successful experimental paper, which also means that with his achievements, human beings have really stepped into the door of the field of quantum science. Lu instantly became a celebrity all over the world. In 2008, the Cavendish Laboratory of Cambridge University invited him to join in. In addition to the invitation to study for a doctoral degree, they also provided Lu with a full scholarship. At the same time, the British government also provided him with a bonus. What happened next is what we talked about at the beginning. In the next 10 years, Lu continued to make breakthroughs in photon entanglement. In 2016, he completed the experiment of manipulating six photons, and nearly three years later in 2018 in July, the number of manipulations was increased to eight. So, what effect does Lu's breakthrough have on our lives? I believe the emergence of the Jiuzhang quantum computer in China a few years ago undoubtedly attracted a lot of attention, which involved the problem of photon entanglement. Because of the mastery of the technology of manipulating eight photon entanglement, Jiuzhang is even 100 trillion times faster than the most powerful traditional computer, Fugaku, in terms of the calculation speed of a single problem. This also means that through Lu's research, China has also completed its quantum hegemony in the field of quantum computing ahead of schedule. Because of this, just after Lu's experimental results were announced, the United Kingdom offered him an annual salary of up to 1 million euros, hoping that he could continue to stay in the Cavendish laboratory. When he was studying for a PhD in the UK, the local government had already opened relevant conditions for him, and promised to build a more complete laboratory for him as long as he stayed. For a scientist, the level of salary may not be considered, and the attractiveness of the laboratory is obviously huge. It is not an exaggeration to describe it as temptation. However, in the face of such a situation, Lu said that he was Chinese after all, and it was this land that gave him nutrients, so he also rejected all of them. Today, Lu is still fighting in the front line of the quantum field. At the same time, he also returned to his alma mater and became a professor. In addition to promoting the overall development of physics, Lu has never forgotten his responsibility as a scientist to teach young people, and this may be his way of repaying the motherland. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.